Okay, my name is Anna Andersson and I am running an NGO called Riga Tech Girls. We started it off as a completely volunteer-run organization aimed at uh, bringing women together who are in the tech field. Either they are developers or they're starting their own startups or they um, want to start working in the tech field. And we started off with workshops. So we believe that if women try coding, they can see that coding is not hard actually and that uh, technology can be a part of their lives. When COVID hit Latvia and the whole world, I think the perception of technology changed for everyone. And everyone realized that we need digital skills, we need tech skills. And uh, what we did, we created a, an online program inclusive, anyone can attend it, so women and men, we are not distinguishing. It's called Discover Tech and we did this uh, with the support of Google.org, a philanthropy organization, and together with our um, partners in Lithuania, Women Go Tech. We bring in about 50 lecturers who are professionals in IT field from different companies, trying to cover the different companies that we have and the different professions that are in the tech field and showing that this is very possible, this is exciting and uh, anyone can actually, if you're interested, you can change your career and, and start working in these positions. We've had uh, more than 16,000 people enroll in this program. For Latvia, it's a big number. This type of program that is changing the understanding of the society doesn't actually exist in other uh, uh, countries and other parts of the world. So this is something quite unique that we've created here. We had also two completely new programs, uh, digital skills for school teachers, where we had 2,000 school teachers from Latvia enrolled and uh, digital skills for creatives. Also 2,000 creatives enrolled uh, from Latvia, but also from diaspora. And the third in this type of program, it's called digital skills for healthcare professionals. So we want to bring more tech and more efficiency in the everyday life of healthcare professionals. So now we're building a fourth program for NGOs. Because nonprofits are making a big impact on the society and civic involvement. And if they can be more efficient and t use digital tools in their everyday lives, then uh, we can reach much better results. And I believe that providing these uh, very accessible, free of charge, online, do it your own time, type of courses that bring you these newest information, newest trends, newest tools, is absolutely something that we need for the whole society to access and to use to develop your skills. We have actually students in our courses who are 80 plus years old. I think the oldest one was uh, 87 in the creatives course and they can do this. They can go through this, they can learn these things because you know our lives now don't end at 60 and, uh, and we need to keep, uh, keep developing ourselves. So yeah, um, join Riga Tegel's courses and develop your skills.